made it. Of course, Newt. She was a dear friend. Let's head up. My people will be glad you're here. Some may have questions about what happened. I hope it's not why. I'm still struggling with that one myself. Aren't we all? Perhaps that's the answer Bram left to seek. He's not here? No. He arranged this and then took to the mountains. The fire inside that boy. I almost feel sorry for any of Jormag's minions he comes across. Sounds like he's working through it in true Bram fashion. Good. Make yourself at home. Your Tribune friend certainly has. Now I'll leave you to it, Commander. Speak with whomever you wish, and celebrate. Or pay your respects privately. The spirit of air can be found in either. She had him dead to rights. We all knew it. And what was he going to do? Beg? Plead? Wasn't his style. And Air wouldn't buy it anyway. So, he just jumped off the ledge. Well, she wouldn't give him the satisfaction of escape, even to his death. She shot him before he hit the ground. <laughs> Damn, that Nord knew how to exact revenge. That's so just true. like her. <laughs> Thank you for that story, Tribune Brimstone. I'm not sure why no one's ever made a tapestry of that moment. Oh, hey, good to see you, Commander. You too. Spreading a little air cheer? Uh, things were getting too serious. Just ensuring they remember the right air. Hey, you're that Redlock Trombone, the Revenant, right? Close enough. Now why don't you do Uncle Trombone a favor and buzz off? But I want to hear about the Blood Legion! Don't you think quietly weeping in the corner by yourself would be more fun than this? Nah, this is fine. Yeah. Have you heard from Zoja or Logan? I was crossing my fingers they'd be well enough to make this. Still both laid up on my last visit. Hmm, too bad. Mordremoth's death came with a great toll, for sure. You know, with those two out of the field, and Snaff and Air gone, and... Case, well, there really is no Destiny's Edge anymore. I'm sorry, Ritlock. I know how important it was to you. But there's no sense in looking back. Maybe it's time to start again. Another guild? Would Air want us to do that? She wouldn't want us to get caught up in her death like she did with Snaps. Regret gets you nowhere. And... Tyria would probably sleep more soundly with the Dragon Slayer at the helm of a new guild. We could do a lot of good. It didn't go perfectly, but the small group we had was pretty capable against Mordremoth. What would we call it? Fate's Razor! I will not be part of a guild called Fate's Razor. What about Dragon's Watch? Dragon's Watch. I like that. Can I be in it? No. But I've got my Uncle Beamish's magical sword. Not yet, kid. Commander, come see this. What's going on? <laughs> I can't believe it. It's Look, Look at everyone. Look it's who a it sign. is. Welcome home, brother. Rox! You! You! And Garm! Commander! What are you doing here? What did I walk into? A memorial for Air. You couldn't have brought a better gift. Yeah. Nice work, soldier. We're both tired and hungry. Mountains. Wasn't Hear expecting all this. Gorm's hurt, too. We should get him healing as soon as possible. What can I do to help? I'll send for a healer. In the meantime, there's plenty of food around. I'll do it. Rox, you rest. Hungry, Gorm? <gasps> Oh. 
I know your story. The jungle dragon was stirring, and you carried Glint's egg to safety. I can only imagine your feelings of hope as the pact rallied against Mordremoth. Your sorrow when they failed. You gathered your hunting party and took the fight to the heart of the jungle. The beloved hunter we celebrate today, Heir Stagalkin, was felt forever. And a revered leader sacrificed himself to help all of Tyria. Despite such great loss and overwhelming odds, you and your friends triumphed over Mordremoth. Today is a day of celebration and of mourning. Tomorrow, you will hunt new prey. About air as a young Norn, almost as soon as she could walk, she showed the instincts of a hunter. But it wasn't until she was as tall as a short bow that she met evil for the first time. She there you go, dragon spawn attacking You're home a farm, now. killing an entire family. The daughter was one of Air's friends. All by herself, Air took down three of Legendary. them. Legendary. She saved an injured kid and even carried him back to Holbrook. Oh. That kid grew up to be a great skull. His name is Corvin, and his life testifies to Air's first legendary deed. Yes. Air had passed Longbow Height when she made One her vow. I too One night, stand a hundred stone. Dragonspawn attacked Holbrek. Jormag's Ice Brood were merciless. They brutally killed her friend Silas the Weaver, a crafter like Air herself. With Silas's Such blood still upon her, she swore to destroy the Ice Brood and all the Elder Dragons. I'll tell you how Destiny's Edge came to be. Air met the Asura Snaf and Zoja first, here in her homestead. They came to commission a stone, stone carving of Snaf's head. During the sittings in Radasum, they became friends. Then the three and Garm returned to Holbrek together. I'll never forget how they shocked the citizens of Holbrek when they emerged from the Asura Gate. Snaf and Zoja each rode inside enormous golems with the stone heads Air had sculpted for them. They raided a frigid dragon spawn cave, and a lasting friendship was forged amid the icy shards of bitter combat. Many ice brood fell that day, but still, Air failed to kill Jormag's lieutenant. The three, nay, four, counting Garm, limped back to Holbrek, having lost their golems and their pride. In retaliation, Jormag's lieutenant sent a devastating ice storm onto Holbrek, killing many beloved residents. Newt White Bear was beside himself with fury and banished Air until she could defeat the beast. Air went to Lion's Arch, where she spotted a small guild of criminal pit fighters known as Edge of Steel. The first battle they ever fought together, they fought against each other. In the pit, Air and her friends, calling themselves Dragon Spawn's Destiny, fought Edge of Steel and won. She demanded her prize that Edge of Steel help with the second assault on the Dragon Lieutenant. The Edge of Steel fighters had to agree. Whitlock Brimstone, Logan Thackeray, and Firstborn Kaith joined Air's cause. When Air next entered Holbrek, she was with Destiny's Edge. They went on to destroy the Dragonspawn Lieutenant. It was the first of many important battles they would fight and win together. I still can't believe it. How did you find Garm? Tracked him from the crash site. Wasn't easy. The jungle's still crawling with Mordrum. Some of them have come unhinged without their master's voice. Poor Garm followed air scent into the middle of it all. He was lucky to be alive. <laughs> we both are. Bram's gonna be so happy when he gets back. He's not here? No. He's in the mountains, blowing off some steam. Well, I'll stay with Garmin and make sure he's okay. When he's ready, we can try to catch up with Bram. 
I'm sure the cold air will do Garm some good after all that jungle heat. Yeah, if I never see another pocket raptor as long as I live, I'll die happy. Come on. Let's get to what we're here for. Was it quick? She died in battle. There was no prolonged suffering. You can rest assured that your legend will be remembered. Wolf chose air at a young age. You honor her. This spirit recalls the importance of the pack, and you were part of hers. Air had many of the qualities of Snow Leopard. Her stealth was renowned. You honor her well by carving this statue. Greetings. They say you were there when Air met her end. What killed her? It was a powerful dragon minion, one of Mordremoth's most dangerous. An abomination. I heard it was the head of the Nightmare Court herself. Is that true? She didn't deal the killing blow. That was a vicious jungle predator called a Vine Tooth. Bear gives us our ferocity, and Air was loved by Bear. You do her honor and remind us of our gifts from all the spirits. Maybe you can explain it. I still don't understand why they didn't bring Air's body back for a proper send-off. We couldn't risk her turning. Her son, Graham, took care of her himself. He honored her remains, I assure you. I thought only Silvari were vulnerable to Mordremoth's corruption. No, everyone was vulnerable. Anyone, Silvari or not, could be attached to one of their blighting trees. The trees created duplicates of people to serve Mordremoth. It was awful. Your craftsmanship does air honor. She was a great sculptor, drawing her inspiration and skill from Raven. You know, I've always said she was destined to be the next leader of Holbrook. I can't believe she's gone forever. She was a powerful ally and a loyal friend. Air's pet. Them. Oh my. I'm sorry. I mean, he's lovely. Hmm. I approve. <laughs> ah, he must have heard me. Sorry, Garm. <laughs> I'm doing. He's looking for her. So 
such craftsmen. There's my Everyone, good lend company. us your ears. The one who killed Zaitan with heirs to Gawkin would like to say a few words. <clears throat> We've all lost people we loved. And the pain of that can be overwhelming. But we can't let that pain stop us from moving forward without them. Without her. Instead, we honor, celebrate her life. The gift that she was. Air is a part of me. A part of all of us. How do we thank the gods for that? By living the rest of our own lives larger. Better. Bolder. We love. We laugh. We defend our world. And we fight for what's right. We do what she would have done. Homesteaders. Hunters. Heroes all. To air! To, well, to air. air. Thank to you, air. spirits. May the gods hear her name. To a great May warrior die. and to friend. Air. We join her and the great Goodbye. spirits. Commander, this just arrived for you. Rest in peace, heirs to Gaugan. May the mountains hear her days to the end of time. May we all carry her memory until we join her and the great spirits. Looks like I'm off to Radanovis. Ritlock, care to follow? Sure, but I need to take care of something on the way. Or rather, tell someone I won't be taking care of something. Never mind. I'll meet you there. Sure. Rocks, Ritlock talked me into founding a new guild. It'd be great to have you. And pass the invitation on to Bram when you see him. Actually, don't. I'll do it in person. I don't want him to think we're merely replacing Destiny's Edge after his mother's death. I get it. And I think he will, too, when the time's right. I am awed by the power of the stone. Legendary. 